When, at the end of a spectacularly successful season of the Soviet Kirov Ballet in Paris in 1961, lead dancer Rudolf Nureyev made the apparently spontaneous decision to defect to the West while in the departure lounge of Le Bourget Airport, it made headlines around the world and soured East-West relations. This scene, intricately depicted, forms the climax to The White Crow, Rafe Fine's ambitious and largely successful portrait of the dancer and his life up until that momentous act. The film's opening scene features Fines himself as Alexander Pushkin, not the famous writer, but the head teacher of Leningrad's Vaganova Ballet Academy, who has been quizzed by a Soviet official about the defection. He's gone to the West because there he can dance, the soft-spoken Pushkin tells the outraged interrogator. After this curtain raiser, the film unfolds in three time periods, one which begins with Rudolf's birth in 1938 on a trans-Siberian train, explores his childhood. These scenes are filmed in the scope ratio and with colours so muted they're almost monochrome. Then there are scenes set in Leningrad in 1955, when the teenage Nureyev began learning to dance in earnest, and 1961, when he and the ballet company arrive in Paris, closely watched over by a clutch of Soviet minders, led by Strzhevsky, played not as the sinister bully you might expect, but more subtly as a charming manipulator by Alexei Morozov. These sequences, which are photographed for the normal screen ratio, adopt a slightly washed-out colour that appears to emulate the Sov colour with which Soviet films of the period were often filmed. The White Crow, so titled because it was a nickname given to the young Rudy because he was different, makes no bones about its protagonist's dark side. Arrogant is a mild word to describe him at his worst. Ukrainian dancer Oleg Ivenko, in his first film, is outstanding as Nureyev. He not only looks a bit like him and dances brilliantly in much the same style, but he also proves to be a charismatic and accomplished actor, handling some difficult scenes with apparent ease. David Hare's intelligent and clearly well-researched screenplay proves a fine basis for Fine's exemplary direction. I'm giving The White Crow four stars.